What does a person do if he gets lazy concerning Salat al Taraweeh? Listen, my brothers and sisters in Islam, listen. Aisha radiallahu anha, she said uh, to Abdullah ibn Abi Qais radiallahu anhu. She said to him, La tada' qiyam al layl. Do not leave out the night prayers whatsoever. Don't. فإن رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم كان لا يدعه because the Nabi صلى الله عليه وسلم never ever ever left off and gave up the night prayers never وكان إذا مريض أو كسل صلى قاعدا and if he was ever to be sick during the night or he became tired he would pray the night prayer sitting الله أكبر there's no excuse for anyone to abandon the night prayer, especially in Ramadan. Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, if he got sick or he was tired, he did not give up the prayer at night. He did not give it up. He would find a chair for himself or he would sit on the floor and continue praying the night prayer. So if you experience a moment of laziness concerning Salat al-Taraweeh, you don't want to pray it, you got lazy, you don't find motivation, ya akhi, my sister, my brother, don't leave off the prayer. Pray it even if you sat down. Pray it sitting. You will earn, bi'ithnillahi ta'ala, you will earn the reward of the one who prayed the night prayers of Ramadan so that he can earn its reward of forgiveness of sins and those plenty of rewards that we mentioned. And as you pray Salat al taraweeh motivate yourself. Motivate yourself. Uh, how? Remind yourself. That the prayer is the best deed to Allah Azza wa Jal. The most beloved deed to Allah Azza wa Jal, as in the hadith, is as salat fi waqtiha in its time. You know? And be certain as you're praying, be certain. And tell yourself, convince yourself, Allah, there is nothing that you could be doing right now that is better than what you're doing at the moment when you're praying. Tell yourself this. It's a powerful statement and a concept, Allah. As you pray, remind yourself. Wallahi, there is nothing better you could be doing than what you are doing right now in Salat. What is it? As you pray, what, what do you want to do? What, what, what is it? Why do you want to leave the prayer? Why? Why? What is it? What are, you, what are you going to do that's better than what you're doing right now? Nothing. Nothing. Wallahi, even if you were to be given a suitcase of gold, going to pick that up won't be better than what you are doing right now as you're standing and praying. So once you know this, you relax. And you know, you, you actually would be grateful for this moment. You would say, Alhamdulillah. And you would appreciate the blessing that Allah Azza wa Jal gave you the strength and the ability and allowed you to be one of the few servants around the world, to be standing and doing the most beloved thing to him, subhanahu wa ta'ala. What an honor. Wallahi, if you are lazy and you remind yourself of what I just told you, your iman would spike in the roof. It would spike through the roof. And all of a sudden, you'll find this energy and motivation to continue praying. And you would wish, Wallahi, this is the moment that if I was to die in this moment, would be the best moment in my life because I'm doing the most beloved deed to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So my brothers and sisters, don't feel lazy and don't leave your tarawi salah. And this tarawi, you're only getting the chance to read it during the month of ramadan only one month throughout the whole year so take it seriously because allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will reward you abundantly allah multiplies the reward of this month as high as 700 times so don't leave your tarawih salah rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa never left his qiyamul layl tarawih this tahajjud Nocturnal prayers. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa even he felt sick, he used to pray it. So we are the ummah of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa We should follow him. If we love him, we should follow his sunnah. And Ramadan is the month when we should do transaction with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is the month of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We should try our best to give our optimum, to give our best during this month of Ramadan. If you are lazy in rest of the 11 months, still it's fine, but you cannot be lazy during this month of Ramadan. The Sahabas used to prepare for Ramadan from Shaaban. 
one month before, two months before. And they used to work really hard. They used to do a lot of ibadah, recite Quran, prayers, and good deeds, charity, zakah. They used to do all sorts of things, all the good things during this month of Ramadan. So my dear beloved brothers and sisters, take this Ramadan seriously. Don't feel lazy. Pray your taraweeh and pray Qiyamul Layl, pray Tahajjud. Ask Allah, cry to Allah, plead to Allah and do transaction with Allah during this month of Ramadan. May Allah make it easy for us. Please support our Dawah works at www.supportdawah.com.